Hip Hop Edition, the finale. Y'all, the finale pissed me off. And we gonna get into why, okay? Um, this season, y'all, this season honestly was like a C plus, B minus. I mean, we did get some good stuff for Corrupt and Tony and Shonda and Willie, but the way they handled this bottle and, and Tahiri situation is pissing me off as well as a lot of people off right now. So let's go ahead and get into the finale. So basically, we open up the episode with Davon. Hazel is finding some reason to get pissed off. Did some bitch bleed on your leg? I'm like, bitch, this ain't super bad. He wasn't, you gonna look stupid when you go back and watch the fact that he was the main one kicking them hoes out the section. So much so, so much, uh, so much so that one girl actually got mad at him and flipped him off. Like, you're gonna look stupid. But Phaedra had to be like, girl, he threw up all himself. Like, how do you feel like he threw up all himself? Like, why in your head would you not think, oh, maybe that's cranberry juice. Oh, maybe he's like threw something up that was red. Your first thought was to be like, you had some bitch on her period dancing on you. Like, she's delusional. Like, you're really delusional. And then, like, you caused this whole commotion. Hazel is addicted to popping off and being, like, combative. So finally they go in the different rooms. The girls sleep in one room. The guys sleep in another. The guys looking at Davon like, nigga, you really pushed it last night. He threw all up on himself. Um, Davon's like, yeah, I went out there like I was 21 again. Then the ladies, they're all waking up anxious about the results for the stuff. And, you know, Phaedra is concerned like about her and Medina's relationship because she thinks, you know, I, am I supposed to go for a different guy? You know, they're telling her, like, Phaedra, you really need some guy with a little bit of edge. Which is why she dated niggas like Apollo and that one uh, DJ, whatever that DJ's name was. Um, yeah, she like a little jailbird. She like a little uh, a little rap sheet. She like a couple of mug shots. You know, Phaedra wanted to call herself and per portray himself to be this all high and mighty. But bitch, she like a nigga from the hood um, that can, you know, be aggressive with her every now and again. Medina, I think, has the ability to do that. He just ain't really put it out there like that yet. And he needs to. I mean, ain't no point in him trying to do it now because his relationship is fake as hell now. I think about it. That shit was so phony. Um, then, of course, for Hazel, she's concerned. Oh, my God, am I getting played? Is this nigga using me? The last thing I'm trying to do is get in a relationship and have, you know, have myself get played out. Da, 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 da. So they go downstairs. Judge Toller has the re results for the test. Um, they do Shonda and Willie. Shonda was, Willie was asked, can you go for the relationship and be faithful? Of course, I'm thinking, oh, hell, deception indicated. But no, nah, he was true. He was telling the truth. He's like, hi. Yeah, I told everybody. I said, you know what? Willie, for this moment, you might have convinced yourself that you ain't going to stick your dick in another girl. But uh, we've seen this uh, how many times before? Like, I'm going to give you what? T minus I'll give you six months. About six months. Then we all start fighting again. It's going to be right back like them pictures on the wall. Them text messages on the wall. Willie, you've done this 12 times. Like, why would we... Like, you convinced yourself right now. Yeah, because y'all are good right now. Y'all are in love. Y'all don't work through some shit. But when y'all go back home and y'all fall back into y'all's patterns... Nigga, you gonna fall back into your regular pattern, which is go to the club, go to the studio, fuck one of these hoes, and then Shonda's ass gonna fight, yell, 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 take your ass back again. Girl, 13 years of y'all's marriage and he been cheating the whole time? Bitch, you stupid. You got me all the way messed up. You think I'm gonna go through that? Oh, hell no. Nah. Um, so after that, we got Medina and Phaedra's results. Medina was asked if he wanted a sexual relationship. He said yes. Of course, that was true. I mean, Medina, he just trying to get some. Like, he just want a little nibble. He just want a little crumb of a cookie. Uh, Phaedra, you playing games right now. I mean, let's pretend this was a real relationship. To be in a relationship with somebody for six months and not give them any type of affirmation. Like, we never saw them kiss. We never saw them cuddle. Like, and then to be like, oh, you know, this, I got that good poom poom. Like, I got that wop, okay? Like, Phaedra, come on now. All right, whatever. You think you got that WAP. Okay, if you obviously did, Apollo wouldn't be where he at right now. Um, 
But yeah, like you can't expect somebody to stay in a relationship and not get nothing back in return. And not that sex is supposed to be something you get back in return. It's not about the, the sex itself. It's about what it means that you trust somebody. It means that you're willing to give your body to them. For some people, that's how it is. Some people, they can have sex and it'd be like nothing. For me personally, I don't have sex with somebody until, you know, I, I really feel you. Or I feel like you've earned it. Or like, I feel like there's something about you I vibe with. I can trust you enough to have sex with you. That's just me personally. I know there's some girls out there who are liberated and can, you know, throw that, throw that thing back on anybody who can care. That's personally not me. Um, but Phaedra, like, it's not really about the sex. It's just, it's just like, are you ever even gonna like, Give him some type of, of affirmation, like, where is the, you know, to say, like, hey, I like you, like, whatever. So, moving on, we get to um, Tahiri, y'all, oh, oh, my God. They said Votto didn't earn a lie detector test question. He lost his privileges. They're making this shit sound like we in high school. You did this, so you lost your privileges. I'm taking your gold star away. Like, what the fuck? So, then... So here he gets her question of obviously if he was sorry and apologized. Um, and she had the decision to open it up or not. Sean also got the decision. No, Willie. Willie got the decision to uh, open up or, or leave it alone. Shonda's uh, lie detector test, which was can she really forgive him? Um, I don't like how they basically convinced Tahiri that she's she did what she did. And, you know, you're overcoming so much. Votto put you through so much by putting his hands on you. And you need to make a right decision for yourself. So then we should got the lie detector question. And it was, oh, do you feel like uh, abuse is supposed to be in a relationship? And she said, no, deception was indicated. Tahiri, personally, I can tell, feels like, you know, doing the back and forth yelling like, the bitch yells all the time. She likes fighting. Her and Hazel are kind of one and the same. She's not as bad as Hazel, but she definitely has, it has its moments where it's like, she likes the argument. She likes the fighting. That's what she's used to. That's her thing. And that's how her past relationships have been. So she tried to do the shit with Votto, and Votto's not that dude. She even said he's never done this before. So for you to push a man that far and then get the reaction you did and you be shocked and surprised, like... You bitches quit putting your hand on these men or disrespecting them and and being like y'all just because you a, a a female doesn't negate the fact that you have some responsibility to pushing somebody to that point. Um so the last but not least, of course, everybody was wondering um about Davon and Hazel stuff. And they get his question, which was, Oh, Davon, are you using her for cloud to get put on? He said, no, deception was indicated. Of course, Hazel turned into, oh my God, I knew you were playing me. Ain't nobody going to come in this relationship. You got what you want. You on TV. You on Instagram. It's like, bitch, shut up. Girl, you was D-list. Hell, honestly, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you probably like, like, H-I-J list. You know, H-I-J-K around that area. Like, Hazel, what clout are you talking about? He got put on marriage boot camp of all shows. Like, bitch, that's not really clout. Come on now. Everybody knows marriage, marriage boot camp is for the struggling, period. And you struggling, bitch. That's why we just saw this damn corny ass stuff with Masika and you on Zeus. Like, girl, corny. So now they end up splitting. Devon's downstairs talking to Medina. He's like, you know, I really do love her. Maybe in the beginning, you know, I kind of felt like that, but I really do feel for her. Of course, he admitted that. He probably saw Hazel and was like, you know, she's not who I usually go for, but you know, maybe I'll get something out of it. And he genuinely likes her. I can see that. So now he goes upstairs to try to talk to her. She's up there with Phaedra crying, my God, I, I didn't want this happening. You know, I don't want to be in a relationship where somebody's using me. How can I do that? Everybody's going to be like, I told you so. So he goes up there trying to tell her he loves her and, you know, he don't want this to happen. And she's like, no, you don't really want me. You got what you wanted. Look, you on TV. You got your Instagram followers. And it's like, girl, he probably would have got them shits without you. Because let's not lie. Deva Devon's a good looking dude. Like, he would have made it with or without you. Period. So, she throws some water on him. Telling him to cool off. He tries to go in there. 
and she's crying like, get away from me. You here, ain't you? You on TV, ain't you? And he, she, I think she kind of hit her, but the other guys, I mean, hit him, but the other guys were in there like telling Devon, like, let's go, let's go. And um, it's like, hey, so, bitch, you pushing it. Like, really? I mean, what clout, though? What clout? Delusional AF. So they all getting ready. She's talking to the girls about what she should do. She's like, oh, I talked to my mom. She told me, you need to make him sign a contract. She's like, I'm a businesswoman first. And at the first, of the, at, anyways, at first, okay, if you truly think this nigga ain't here for you and is only for the clout, why are you still trying to be in a relationship with him? That just goes to show how much you really don't value yourself that you're going to stay in a relationship with somebody that is using you, but because they're using you, I'm going to get a percentage of it. Like, you're doing damage to yourself than anything. Yeah, okay, you make him sign this contract, you get a little bit of money, but here you are. Look, you knocked up by this nigga. You got his baby. Like, you got yourself in a situation with a man that you feel like is using you. Like, how stupid does that sound? You should have been gone. So... Come to find out, she gonna try to make him sign this contract. He was like, if he really love you, he'll sign it. Whatever. So they go downstairs. Shonda and Willie go first. Of course, they go through their monologue of, oh, you know, I don't know if I can really trust you. Can we move on for our family? Willie's like, you know, I want to be with you, but that attitude, you know, sometimes it can be a lot. First of all, can you see why she got an attitude? Like, nigga, you don't put her through some shit. So, yeah, she has the right to have an attitude. But nonetheless, they give each other the rings. Shonda's all crying and shit. She go in there so emotional because, you know, she um, she want to be with Willie. I, Willie, I'm sure, wants to be with her. But the problem is, he can't keep his dick in his pants. So second was uh, Hazel and Devon. Um, Hazel and Devon go out there. Devon had his like whole rap outfit on. Hazel comes down looking like Harajuku uh, anime character with them buns in the back of her head. She built so bad, y'all. Like, I don't, I mean, I don't want to buy it, Shamra, but y'all, Hazel is one of the worst built people on reality TV. Like, she's square, but then, like, oblong, and then, like, she looks stuffed. Like, I don't know. Like, she looked bloated. It's just a lot. She built like a refrigerator, and that dress was not it at all. So she go out there and of course he try to tell her like he truly loves her. He don't want her to believe the stuff. And she's like, yeah, um, uh, she was like, yeah, you know, I should have known that something was wrong. If you, but you, if you want to use me, I do truly, she really, she thinks that he does have feelings. Okay. Look, this is what I think. I think the lie detector test picked up on the fact that not that he's trying to use Hazel, but he does acknowledge or he can recognize that being with her, there comes with some type of advantage. There's some kickback to being with her. I don't think he's using Hazel. I personally don't. I really do think he likes her, wants to be with her, but he just does recognize that, okay, it comes with a little bit of something, something. Um, and a lot of Texas has picks up on subconsciousness like how it did with Tahiri. You know, she tried to claim that, you know, she doesn't really think that when Judge told her to talk to her. And, of course, they did that monologue, how she used to take her power back and look at the envelope, see what vital things and all that shit. That pissed me off. Um, but, nonetheless, she's like, you'll sign this contract if you want to be with me. He signs it. They give each other the ring. They go in there. And they all laughing and stuff. She's like, yeah, he signed it. Kind of find out Phaedra, the one that helped her with the contract. Y'all know Phaedra, that bitch a schema. So kind of he look at that shit in the confessional. He read it and everything. He like 30%. That seemed kind of high. Yeah, nigga, it is. The management contract supposed to be only like 10, 15% at the most. Nigga, she on your ass. Um he like, is there an expiration date with Hazel? Hell no. Nah. Um, so then Medina and Phaedra go. He doesn't give her a ring. She tried to give him one. She's like, maybe I should try something different. Then when he saw that she had a ring, he's like, oh, well, um, I'll give you one when you're ready for a man like me. So she walks in, everybody's surprised that she didn't get no ring, da da da, da. So then we get to the Tahiri and Vado part. Vado comes out there. They got him with security. Why the fuck is security with Vado? Why? He has not expressed nothing 
of, oh, I'm going to get back at her. Oh, I'm trying to, I, like, he never expressed anything about being, about beating her up again or putting his hands on her again. He very much expressed, you know, being sorry and stuff like that. Like, this shit was so extra. He goes out there, they give Tahiri her time to talk. And she goes on, oh, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for young Tahiri. I'm doing this for all the women who feel like it's acceptable and too scared to speak of. Vado's like, like, are y'all for real? Like, I'm just supposed to stand here. And, and it, I know it wasn't like, it came off like, oh my God, like you're not taking accountability. But I don't think it was that. It was just like, he's so annoyed that the way she's portraying it is to be like, he really beat her up or something. Like, and it was uncalled for. She's like, oh yeah, I I threw apples at you, but you you could have threw one back or walked away. No, because had he threw a motherfucking apple at your face, they would have been on his ass. Like, period. They would have said that was wrong too. I'm sorry, but some of you bitches out here need to get yoked up. It'll teach you to take your freaking keep your hands to yourself. I'm not condoning violence. Don't put that in my mouth, but I'm just saying some of these females out here, because they haven't encountered a, a nigga that will yoke them up and remind them, girl, stay in your place, quit disrespecting me. They keep doing it. And that's why Tahiri felt like they empowered her to feel like, oh, everything was Vado's fault. Like you didn't have no responsibility in the way that he was reacting. You gaslit this man the whole day. He was trying to talk to you. He was trying to calm you down, but you kept going. And then for you to sit there and turn it into, oh, he's trying to make me look bad. Now I look crazy because he's the one trying to take me there. No, you took yourself there. And because he wasn't reacting, that's the reason why Tahiri kept going because she knew if I'm the only one acting crazy here, then I'm the one that looks bad. You know, she needs him to do something bad too. So to focus in on, on her funky ass attitude and how she pushed it. And he looked, uh, Dr. Ish looked at Vada like, oh, this is her time. You know, you lost the right to say anything. This is for Tahiri. So then she does this, oh, I'm giving this ring to myself. You know, this is for me, self-love. You know, I'm not even going to open the envelope. She hands it to him. Like, the shit was so foul. Like, the double like, standard in this situation. Like, this is not how a situation should have been handled. Y'all should have shown how sometimes relationships have those moments where people lose their temper. Doesn't mean they are wrong, but they can acknowledge the fact that, hey, dang, I might have taken it a little bit too far. And then you fix it, okay? Like, let's keep it real. Like, what Votto did, domestic violence, like, was it wrong? Was it excessive absolutely but <laughs> i want to call i don't want to come off insensitive but like what Votto did was very minor compared to how they're trying to make it seem tahiri pushed him she threw two threw two big green ass apples at him and why are y'all not having her apologize to him like that's another thing too that shit pissed me off Vado took that letter, he threw that shit on the ground and left. Man, they all in there so proud of Tahiri. Oh, you know, you stood up for yourself. Judge told us, like, Tahiri, I'm so proud of you. You know, you become a new woman. They all in there thanking the doctors or whatever. Um, Shonda finally opens up the envelope and it shows no deception was indicated that she can truly get over it. I'm like, okay, bitch, until it happens the next time. And that was a season, you guys. I mean, it was like, whatever. I mean, we really got to do better. That fake ass relationship with Vada, with, um, Medina and Phaedra, like it was, it was, uh, but y'all tell me what y'all think about the season. How y'all feel about Hazel giving Davon a contract? You know, how do you feel about how they handled the Vada and Tahiri situation? Drop down in the comments. Let me know. Appreciate you for tuning in. I will catch you guys next time. Deuces.